level exceeds 5,000. Somebody mentioned I should get a monocle or a scouter. And I found one at the Goodwill run. Uh, it was one of the few things that we actually did get in a real Goodwill. The first two Goodwills and the last Goodwill in that video were actual Goodwill runs. And then the time loop sequence in the middle was chucking stuff from in here in the truck to hoodwink you all. Uh, and apparently it was very successful. Anyway, it makes noises and it... It amuses me. Anyway, uh, I'm going to be going through all of the nerf that I was given. A couple of people asked if I could do a video just going through it all, and I need to go through it all anyway, so figured might as well. Some of it will get sorted into the shipping container because there are some bins that aren't completely overflowing, uh, but most of them are, so uh, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do. I've got some extra boxes that I will hopefully try to sort things if they're not already sorted. I think they're fairly sorted. Um, the, most of the strifes I think were already taken out. They were all in a box and they've actually gone into my strife bin because it wasn't full because strifes get used a lot. Um, but we'll see what else I've got. We will see what else comes out of this mess. Um, yeah, I'll show stuff off as I find it. I'll show stuff off at the end. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to be doing with this. It's Friday afternoon and I've got a truck uh, trailer full of Nerf to go through. So that's what I'm going to do. This whole operation is, of course, being overseen by the Tactical Bear. He'll make sure that no shenaniganery takes place like the Goodwill Building video. Nothing but truth, and hopefully all of the truth, but probably not. I almost certainly forget stuff. Um, but he's got an eye on me. I wouldn't dare take step out of line. Mauled, savaged, viciously by the bear. All right, let's get into this. have no idea what this is. It vaguely looks like it might be a squirt gun, but I don't know where you'd put the water. That looks like a battery housing. Looks like it might light up. I have many questions. Do any of you have answers? featured fan build, somebody used this blaster as the base for something, and I had assumed it was a Busby bolt action, and I could not for the life of me find it. And that's because it's not. It is in fact a stats blast. Uh, can't find a name on it though. Toys R Us. But if you're still out there and still wondering, this is what it was made out of. Another day. Uh, I have acquired more boxes, I've acquired bins, I've acquired tape so I can repair some of these boxes. And we're gonna, we're gonna give it another try. I, I, oh, so much stuff. Still have no idea where I'm gonna put it all.
one actually wasn't part of this collection. I got this one from the Nerf Curator. It's uh, It might become my new HVZ primary uh, for smaller HVZs. It's got the barricade stock that was very rare, the yellow pinpoint sight, and it's got an old orange Modworks kit in it. So it actually could probably be made to hit fairly decent with a little... A little TLC, lube up the O-rings, check all of that, maybe replace the spring. Um, and that, that would be a fun one to carry for HVZ just because it's the OG and that's cool. The sky's starting to leak! Pack it all up! see it's dark damp but I have it more or less organized still have no idea what I'm gonna do with it but at least it's slightly organized when next the Sun comes up I'll go through it all and show it all off for you so up first we have parts I mentioned that it was a, a pair of a father and son pair of modders and so there were quite a few bins of parts um, you know, this box is just full of air tanks, and we've got shells and partially completed projects and a lot of that. Um, five boxes and two big totes of partially finished or broken blasters or any number of other things. Um, and so I'll need to go through all of these and determine, okay, what projects do I actually want to complete? What projects are, are you know interesting enough that I would like to, to carry it through, which stuff are just broken blasters that I can fix and put back into the arsenal, and which ones are beyond hope or usefulness, and I'll just scrap them for parts. Pull out the screws, the springs, any shell parts that are still useful, and then just get rid of the rest, uh, or leave them in a big bin for future integrations for people who come to the makerspace uh, who are looking for just random shell parts, stuff like that. So that's what we have here. Let me give another pass of just Bins. Neat. All right, for accessories, we have a bin full of stocks, a bin full of barrels, including some long shot front guns, and then various rail attached things and uh, Vulcan uh, tripods. We then also did end up with some ammo. There are a pair of the flintlock pistols that got set aside because Infinity Rails. But a number of magazines, a whole box full of magazines, including a whole bunch of six rounds, mega magazines, two twelves, and a, another three, some of the fancy magazines from the Doomlands line that I don't even know if I had, or if I did, I had very few, because I find the blasters at Goodwill, but never the magazines. Uh, bunch of ammo, a whole bunch of mega ammo. I think some of that is actually from the box that uh, Boomstick sent, but that whole box is nothing but mega. There's then boxes of loose, there's actually several boxes of inbox ammo, um, loose elite darts, um, rival rounds, some um, demolisher rockets even, some inbox ammo. There was a whole box of inbox um, end strike whistlers. So not a whole lot uh, of ammunition, but I imagine they actually planned to keep most of that for use, but a couple of the boxes snuck in. Up first we have a whole box of Magnum Super Drums. I think there's five or six blasters and I think five cylinders. I think I'm one cylinder short, but that'll that'll do. A whole box of Mega, there's um, Magnuses, um, Cyclone Shocks, at least one Tri-Break, prob uh, some probably, I think there's a Hot Shock, some Big Shocks, all the good rival pistols. They're just, they're just fun. Then of course we have the Ubiquitous Mavericks. We have one whole box just of the Yellow Mavericks, including one in box, which means I now have two in-box yellow Mavericks. Then all of the fancy colored Mavericks, including one of the Skylanders. I mean, it's essentially a Maverick. I think the only one that wasn't in there, there was a whiteout. Um, the only one that wasn't in there wasn't a gear up one. So, um, but I have a bunch of those, so no, no horrible loss there. We then have um, 
electric revolvers, barricades, and a power bell. I don't know that I had a power bell. Um, I might have, but now I definitely have one. Uh, and then some vintage stuff. There was actually a couple of vintage blasters, a, uh, a Hornet, the original Hornet, rather than the, the, the one that went with the, uh, the thing with the stuff and the MacGuffin, the Titan. Um, a Sharpshooter 2 and a, uh, one of the Max Force ones with the, the fins that pop up on the back. And have uh, Smart AR Blasters, they kind of went in their own bin. There were a couple of the uh, purses, or the, yeah, the Rebel purses. There were, th I want to say three of those, and I think I may have given one or two of them to the people who were helping me. Uh, and uh, some other random ones. There's also some worker uh, ones that aren't really smart AR, but they function like it. We got a box of just random stuff, non-nerf, some fart noise making blasters and some Star Wars blasters and some other random weird stuff in there. Um, we've got end strike revolvers and rebel revolvers. We have magazine fed Springer pistols, uh, retaliators, recons, um, tri strikes, all of that kind of stuff. Uh, we then have up here single shot pistols, all the, the good ones, reverse or uh, direct plunger ones, basically one, most of the ones that can take K26. The off brand single shot or reverse plunger ones that aren't really very good. And then some random revolvers, hyper fires, and uh, off brand revolvers and stuff like that. Train! Coming in. That's all of that. Now we've got long stuff. We've got long shots, stampedes, long shot front guns. Most of them ended up in here. Some are in that barrel box. Um, there's a cam blaster, obviously. Whatever that thing is, Busby thing. Um, the ones that needed a larger bin. We had then another much more random large bin. We've got the broken Fortnite rocket launcher that actually got at the Goodwill. Um, a mag tech, rapid fire tech, I think. Uh, one, The Judge, a Mastodon, some other large um, mega stuff. I think there's a Twin Shock um, Alpha... Alpha Hawk? I think. All right, up here we have Centurions. We also have a Modulus Long Strike that I got from the Curator. Uh, people kept asking me if those could take K26 because they're now direct plungers, so I'll be trying that. Bunch of original Long Strikes. Uh, I think there's a few other random things in here. There's a Nitron. And this weird thing that a lot of people commented on. Um, it is not, in fact, an integration. It is, in fact, an off-brand stampede with a long strike stock on it. This I also got from the curator. Um, so, yeah, there will be videos on that and more explanation. I will be looking at the internals. Obviously, I'm sure it can't take a K26, but I am curious to see how well it works and if it can take, like, the stampede metal gears or whatnot. And the final of the large boxes, there's two Titans, a red and a green, a dog launcher, yes, a couple of Vulcans. Uh, this is a very strange um, homemade hamp using PVC that has a um, an inline clip. Apparently it is ridiculously powerful but hopelessly inaccurate. Uh, there are some hail fires down in there, I believe, and then one of these big stuff that didn't really fit into other any other category. All right, now I get to pack all this up and haul out the dozen medium boxes. There is no end to my suffering. A quick addendum before we take a look at the medium boxes. Um, I've already mentioned that a number of these items came from the curator, uh, and I actually bought them from his private collection, separate from the stuff that he sold to Walcom. And once I'm done with them, I will probably donate a lot of them to Walcom's collection because his is aiming to be much more complete than mine. Uh, but there was actually, before I picked up the big collection down in Portland, I actually picked up another collection on my way to Portland the first time. I then had car trouble and it took me two weeks to get my car fixed. Um, and then I was able to, to go down and, and get the rest. Um, but things like uh, the, the homemade hamp, actually, that weird duct taped PVC thing, didn't come from this collection. That was from the earlier one from a guy named Dustin, who's in our local group, and who's been to the Makerspace. Uh, I helped, he was in my Prometh, uh, yeah, no, Percy's, the Percy's upgrade video. Um, he was downsizing his collection and posted on our local group, you know, Freedom of a Good Home, and um, 
I saw it early and rather than just say I'll take it all I said I'll take whatever nobody else takes so after a week of other people picking off all the good stuff the strifes and the hammer shots and all the really good blasters that he was he was doling out um, I ended up with what was left and it was a lot of good stuff uh, and including some some custom stuff including that weird thing um, so just wanted to make sure that I gave him credit for what he donated as well so thank you Dustin well, let's take a look um, I think like four of the items in this bin came from Dustin in fact uh, so we got a whole box just of Vortex which I already have a whole box of Vortex and it's again the good stuff magazine fed stuff then there's drums and magazines and all of that so we will see what happens with all of that we've got a whole box of Boomco stuff not Boomco, Boomco, Busby up next we have a whole box of Busby stuff so we got some of the uh, Berserker is in there and a bunch of the stuff that all click clicks together and locks together and um, some barons and some champions and stuff along those lines we then have a whole box of um, pump action springers magazine feds pump action springers so um, raiders rampages deploys alpha troopers um, double dealers all of that kind of stuff always good they're great for things like hvz actually um so that a whole box of fireflies um of yep yellow and yellow and blue whole bunch of them people like using them for stocks they're not a whole lot of good for much else a bunch of air powered stuff some vintage stuff uh, as well as obviously the gobzooka mostly vintage air powered stuff though um Again, don't know what I'll do with it because I have it all for the collection already. And they're tough to mod. Not impossible, but tough. Dart tag! A whole box of dart tag stuff. A lot of swarm fires and uh, quick 16s. I don't think there's any speed swarms. Mostly shotgunning type stuff. Rough cut sledge fires, brain saw, some Busby shotguns. Um, and then some rival stuff because there wasn't a lot of rival and it had to go somewhere so it ended up in that box. Electronic magazine blasters. So there, I think there ended up being three ravens in this collection altogether. Uh, one of them was already in my raven bin. Um, there were some desolators, swarm fire, uh, hail fires. There's a Busby. I can't remember what that's called, but it's a magazine. It's really cool. A couple of demolishers down there. All of the hyper fires. There were like four or five hyper fires altogether. I think I might have even gotten one from Dustin, uh, but they all ended up in my hyper fire bin in the, the storage unit. Uh, my shipping container, also all of the the uh, strifes. There was a whole box full of strifes. You saw that in the Goodwill video of me just chucking strifes in the back. All of those went into my strife bin because it had room. So it's not in here already. Um, other. Um, <laughs> there's some uh, re um, reapers. I don't remember what this thing's called. The Vagabound. Um, there's a, uh, Lawbringer, there's, I think, is that a long shot down there? Yep. <laughs> a long strike. Um, Thunder Blasts. Again, not everything <laughs> fits into a good category. Um, this is more other, but it's mostly air-powered other. This actually is. There's some Boomco stuff in here. That one. That one, there's another one, there's a paintball tagger in there, there's some uh, mag strikes, some squirt guns, weird, weird stuff. Crossbolts, including a modified crossbolt from Dustin, one of the minimized ones, so those are, those are always cool. And bows, thunder bows, big bad bows, all of that. And then finally, an inbox, Centurion, ain't never been sniffed. Last but certainly not least, I mentioned that they were modders, the guys who gave me this collection, and there were in fact a couple of their modified blasters in amongst the detritus. And I wanted to show them off because a couple of them are really cool. We will start with this modified Maverick, which has a barricade cylinder. So it's a 10 round Maverick and seems to rotate just fine. I haven't... Good lord. I need a dart. A dart! Kingdom for a dart! I got one. See if it'll actually fire. It will not. 
We're not getting a seal. What's? Oh, we don't seem to be getting any kind of a seal. It tried. Um, so this might be a project that I have to fix. See if I can get a, a good enough seal or heavy enough spring to actually clear those. Because that's just fun. What else we got in this bin? We have a magazine-fed magnet. Using what I assume is either a tyrant or a boss magwell. Needs a little bit of work though. The, the magazine release is a little bit sticky. But it does feed properly when you do have a magazine in it. So that was a neat one. We have this one. And this one is cool. It is a brain saw with a... Uh, I can never remember what this thing is called. Cross something or other. It's the Zombie Strike 4 AR um, crossbow thing. Uh, but they've integrated the two of them so that you, you prime up here for the 4 AR and then it's got a thumb button for the trigger, which is just neat. And then the, the brain saw is still just pump action 8 AR. So, yeah, an excellent zombie hunting blaster, I feel. Uh, because if you need double firepower, you can fire them both at once. Very nifty. I like, I like how that one came together. Ah, we have a brass jolt. The heavy spring. Where'd those darts go? I lost the darts. But I like that. And we have this. It is one of the, the purse blasters for ARs cut off and glued onto the end of whatever this thing's called, which I cannot remember, nor do I care. But it allows you to prime like that. Now I definitely need a dart. I want to see if this thing will fire. Hurt. Uh -huh. Will it shoot? Good lord! Not only does it shoot, it shoots very well and very straight. That is fantastic! Oh! I like this one. This one's getting a paint job. And maybe having the barrel straightened a little if I can. It might, it might be too late with whatever they used. I don't think it's coming apart. Good enough. Good enough. Very cool. And last but not least, we have an Echo 1. Which I didn't even know this existed. It looks to the world like a panther, but in a different shell. And this thing is just terrifying. It smokes. There we go. So that's all of the, the modified stuff that I that I noticed that was at least looked to be partially functioning. Some of it could use some work. But that that was most of it. Other than, like I said, some stuff did get sorted into the appropriate bins uh, in the storage container if there was room. If there wasn't room, then it ended up out here. Um, yeah, so I will have to get another shipping container. I, I was, like I said, I was already planning to. Uh, and that one will hold um, gear equi or event equipment and loner gear. So it'll be loner ammo and all of the, the barricades and game stuff, as well as racks and racks of loner blasters for when I hold events here. And I'm hoping to get one where the, the container opens up on the side. How very dare you. Um, so that it can be opened up during the event and all of the loner gear and all the stuff is right there and easy to pull out and use. Uh, that's the plan. So a lot of this will end up loner gear. A lot of the stuff in there in my current container will end up loner gear. And so hopefully between the two there will be room for everything. Though, of course, there's always more stuff coming in, but once events start happening, there will be stuff going out because there will be prizes and giving away stuff at random to friends who are trying to do builds. And I need this. Here, here you go. Get out. Um, so, yeah. That's the plan. That is the plan. Let me know what you think about all of this. And thank you guys for watching. And of course, thank you to the people who donated all of this because I do have plans. <laughs>